one, five, touchdown, Longview. That's 14 7, John. Yeah. Longview up 14 to nothing, and Carter uh, gets the ball and drives 14 plays, 72 yards, a touchdown, a, a white touchdown from one yard out. Makes the score 14 to 7 with 6.54 to play in the half. That's a big, big series for, for Carter. Romero Rodriguez kicks it deep. McCray drops it, picks it up. Up the middle of the field he comes, and he got it back to maybe the 19-yard line. Well, that was a precarious uh, kickoff, and McCray just couldn't quite handle it into that win. So Longview's going to scrimmage from their 19, first down and 10. 6.47 to go in the first half, and Longview's got a 14-7 lead. And the football at their own 19-yard line. But well, that was vintage Dallas Carter. It was. I mean, it was power football. They threw one pass in that series, completed it, but the rest of it was on the ground. First down and 10. Double wise to the near side of the field for Longview. I formation. Tied in Taylor on the far side. Wind at Longview's back on first down and 10. They give it to the up, the eye back. McCray, he's dropped back for three-yard loss back at the 11-yard line. That, I don't know. That play like never quite. We went on the quick count. I don't even think Longview was ready, and uh, Carter was, and they were in the backfield and uh, made the play on Tyler McCray before he ever really got to, a chance to, to move at all. Chris Henderson, the 245-pound defensive tackle, made the play. So it's second down, and Longview needs 13 for a first back at their own 11-yard line. 6:15 to go in the first half. Longview leads 14 to seven, and the football at their own. 16 yard line. Spread formation. Here's Aaron Johnson. He's going to run it outside. And Johnson's going to get it to the 22. Well, that's a nice defensive play by Dallas Carter's Anthony Miller. Yeah, it was because it really looked like Aaron Johnson had a lot of running room. And I think that shows you a little bit the athleticism of Carter, even with blockers. Anthony Miller, the only guy out there able to st step out and uh, make a, uh, a a good play for them and save what, what could have been uh, a pretty big gainer. Third down, Longview needs seven for a first down at their own 22-yard line. 5.29 to go in the half. It's 14-7, to seven. Longview leading Carter. And Longview football, third down and long. High formation for Longview on third down. Now Taylor's going to move to the far side of the field and reset, and Longview's going to get a penalty. So it's going to go from third and seven to third and 12. Third down and 12, and the ball moved back to Longview's 17-yard line. So third down and 12 for Longview, back at their own uh, 17. Longview moved before the snap. Tater on the near side with a double wide receiver set. Same eye formation. Now Tater's going to move to the far side of the field and reset. High formation on third down. Long count by Johnson. Play action pass. Johnson in the backfield. He is going to run it up the middle of the field and be tripped up at the 22. That same man, Anthony Miller, made the tackle. Anthony Miller, again, makes just an unbelievable play in the open field. He leaps out and just grabs Aaron Johnson by the ankle and uh, saves what would have been a giant gain for Longview. So Longview's got to punt it away. They'll punt it from their 22-yard line. Carter will send one man back to return the kick. And the last time, the first punt for Longview, they brought everybody and tried to uh, block it. And let's see they're, what they do here. It looked like they're set up to, for the return this time. Kendrick Wilcott back to return it. This one's going to sail over Wilcott's head. I don't know if he touched it or not. He chases it all the way back and being chased by Darden and tackled at the 11-yard line. Yeah, that was a great play by Lante Darden. And after the uh, muff punt, that uh, ended up going over uh, Kedrick Wilcox's head. He picks it up and tried to go to the far sideline, but Darden with a uh, full head of uh, uh, full head of speed on him was able to grab him, and that ends up being a giant play for Longview. A 60-yard punt for Longview with a wind at their back. So with 4:09 to go in the half, Longview leads 14 to seven. Carter football at their own 11-yard line. Let's see if Longview can uh, can stop them here and make them punt into the win. Longview first down, and, or Carter first down and 10. 
They're going to take it back, toss it back to Miller. He comes up the field and got it to the tw to the 18-yard uh, line. It's going to be second down and three at the 18. Well, the plays all look the same, John, but if, and I can't describe it accurately enough, but the plays look the same that they run, but they don't all end up in the same place. Well, and, and I think some of that is, I think, that up to discretion of the backs. I mean, I think he's watching what to what uh, – uh, how the blockers go, and he'll cut back on some plays and some he won't. Second down and three. There's a back outside. He's got a first down at the 30-yard line. Chased by Darden, and out of bounds he goes at the 35-yard line. First down and 10. 17-yard pickup. 3.33 to go in the first half. 14-7. Longview leads Carter. Carter has moved it from their 11 to their 35. Here's Eddie McGee going in the game for Longview. At the left corner, Eddie McGee in the game. First down and 10 for Carter at the 35-yard line. There's Phillips. Play action pass. He's going to throw it down the field. Now being chased. And he's outside and chased out of bounds at the 43-yard line. He got uh, maybe a couple of yards, three yards on the play. It's going to be second down and seven. Chased out of bounds by Peter Robertson. Well, we've not seen Peter Robson play defense this year, have we, John? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't remember it. He, he hasn't has. played all year at defense. He is a sophomore, plays mostly offensive receiver, but he is a 200-pound sophomore and about 6'3 or 4. I mean, just because he hadn't played the, f no. the first 12 no. games, <laughs> we're in the third round of playoff line, you expect him not to be on defense. He must be pretty good if he put <laughs> him out there. Second down and seven. There's the toss in the backfield, and Longview there with a nice defensive play to the 41-yard line. So it's going to be third down for Carter, and they need four for a first at their own 41. See, this is one thing that you that you want to do with, with the win at your back. Long you've got a long punt, so you make you make Carter have to move a long way to get a score. Stephen A. Stanfield in the game. Third down for Carter, and they need four. Long you need to stop and get a punt into the win. They're going to toss it in the backfield, and Longview's going to be there with a stop. Eastburn, Eastburn down the line and made the first hit, and it's going to be it's going to be close. It's at the 44-yard line. It's fourth down and about a yard and a half at the 44. Let's see if Carter will go for it. I think they're going to. Fourth down. This is not unusual for one of Allen Wilson's teams to do just that. Fourth down in the yard. Let's see if Longview can stop them. If they can, they'll have great field position with two minutes to go in the half and a 14 to, <coughs> to uh, seven lead. The big uh, defensive linemen are in here. Fourth down and Longview. Longview's going to take a timeout and talk it over. Longview's calling time. We'll take it with them. Be back on 104.1 The Ranch in one minute. <laughs> 